Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah. I make lots of gift guides throughout the year just like this one. I make Valentine's Day, I make Easter, I make birthdays and Christmas, both all the Christmas presents and stocking stuffers and all that stuff. So if you like gift guides, you came to the right place. I also make lots of plus size fashion videos, makeup and beauty videos, as well as other lifestyle content like clean with me, cook with me, what's for dinner videos, mommy stuff, um, decorate with me, all that type of stuff. So if you like any of those types of videos, and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below, as well as turn on that post notification bell so you're notified at every time I post. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is an exciting one. It's also one that you guys love. You guys love my gift guides. I know that some of you only subscribe to me for my gift guides and you're in luck today because today is what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. Now, of course, disclaimers before every video like this, you do not have to feel obligated to get your kids anything like this for Valentine's Day. Um, or if you want to get them Valentine's or you don't want to get them Valentine's, you're the parent. It's totally up to you. To some of you guys, this is going to seem outrageous. And to some of you guys, this is going to seem like nothing. Um, I'm my mom. I'm the mom. My husband's the dad. We mutually decide what to get our little ones. Um, and we love to get them little surprises and make them feel treasured and celebrated um, during the fun holidays of the year. They don't get through get stuff throughout the year. Um, really unless they save up their allowance, but honestly the only times they really get stuff is for the birthday Christmas and Valentine's and Easter like this one so we just like them to feel loved and treasured, just like my husband and I like to do, and it's just fun. So my mom always did this for us, my mom and dad, and I just like to carry on that tradition, so that is what I'm doing. Um, like I said, by no means feel like you need to get all this stuff or any of this stuff. I just like to give you guys ideas, um, because I know sometimes after Christmas it's hard to think of like, okay, what can I possibly get them for a Valentine or anything like that. So, yes. Um, I try to stick kind of with like a typical theme, if you will. When I do these types of videos, I like to uh, stick with like, okay, they're getting a book and they're getting this and they're getting that and they're getting this. And I try to do that every single year. Um, this year kind of strayed a little bit from that, <laughs> from that, but I'm still really excited to share with you everything I got. So um, if you haven't seen any of my gift guides before or know anything about me, I have two little girls. One just turned five, her name is Olive, and I have an almost three-year-old, she'll be three, next month pretty much on March 6th and her name is Eleanor. So I'm going to dive into their stuff. All right, so Valentine's Day, I normally like to get them like a new dish, either a plate or a bowl or a cup or something like that um, because obviously dishes, especially kids' dishes, get used and get gross and just ready to kind of recycle and throw away. Um, so during like the fall Valentine's Day season, I normally like to find them a cute new plate and stuff like that. But my mom actually just got them a huge new whole collection for each of them. Um, so I didn't need any plates this year. I will tell you that there is one and I will go into that in a second. So instead, I decided to get them um, a little Valentine's placemats, kind of Valentine's. I didn't want them to be just hearts and stuff, but these make me think of Valentine's Day, but they're also springy and summery and fun and just fresh and really cute and will be good for all different seasons. These are from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99, but they're in their spring department, spring decor, and typically that stuff is 40% off right now. Um, they do have a bunch of different designs. If you watched my Valentine's Shop With Me Decorate video, um, you would have seen the different designs that they have, um, but I liked the straw strawberries but they have really cute donuts one which would be cute they have like Winnebago camping ones which would be really cute if you have little boys or who am I kidding I'm getting those for my kids during the summertime um, but I just think these are so fun and cute and bright and they're a perfect like useful item we love placemats I feel like they're really hard to find now but we use them all the time and they save your table from you know nicks and nacks and yuckiness and they're really great for like slime and like arts and craft activities as well this year my kiddos get a book for every single holiday or gift giving event so if it's like Valentine's, Easter, their birthdays, Christmas time, they always get books. I want to nur nurture their love of reading and they both really, really love it. So I'm really hoping that just continues on because I absolutely love to read, but my husband absolutely hates to read. So I'm trying really to like encourage their love of reading at a young age so they'll continue on with that. So for their books this year, they both got to Disney Look and Finds. Um, for my youngest, if you watched my What I Got Her for Christmas video, you would know that she is 
toy story obsessed like toy story everything right now she's watching toy story 4 <laughs> um she watches one at least once a day she's obsessed with them and i love toy story as well and she got a bunch of toy story stuff for her christmas gifts and she got a toy story book already and it was andy's room which was super super cute i will have that linked down below um if you already have that one or if you want a different like unique toy story book i love that one she loves that one but we decided to get a look and find this time um my oldest just started to doing the i spy books with my husband they like each like hunker down every night and they'll like look at a page and try to find them together and um they both have really gotten into them and my youngest has really wanted to do those too but they're kind of hard for her age so i feel like this is a good compromise so it's basically like a disney version of an i spy book um but they have like scenes from the movie so here's bonnie's room and then of course they have like obviously all of the things you need to find like jesse and woody and buzz and they're easy ones to spot so i think that she'll do a good job with this and it'll be really fun for her and there's also a little story to go along with it um so they have bonnie's room and they have the antique store which is in toy story 4 and just like all the different scenes from that movie um i believe this like retails for like 12.99 or 15.99 or something like that but on amazon it was like seven bucks so of course everything that i can link below i will link below for you um but if you got a toy story fan in your life this one is really cute and then to go along with the look and find since my oldest loves freaking i spy but more importantly she loves frozen like when the first one came out and she saw it, it was her life. Eat, sleep, and breathe. Everything frozen. Everything Elsa. Everything let it go. And then, like, out of nowhere, it was like Elsa was dead to her. Like, she did not care a thing about anything frozen. And, I mean, it went to the point where it's like she had everything, like, pajamas, bike, t-shirt, toothbrush. Everything was frozen. And then it was like, I don't care about it at all anymore. And now we're back into, since she saw Frozen 2 for her birthday, it's like the love affair, the Frozen fever is on tenfold. Like, it's every single day, every single second, we're talking about Elsa, we're talking about Frozen. She's dressing up, she's coloring, she's making cards for her, she's drawing Elsa. I mean, like, Elsa is her life. <laughs> so, um, we, I got her the Frozen 2 book looking fine this one is a little bit more advanced i feel like so it'll work better for her i don't know why they're different sizes um but they have the scenes from the frozen 2 movie so here's elsa and anna's bedroom but then they have ones that are like help to spot flowers and the flowers are a lot smaller and they also have one that's like um i mean like just they're just a bit more difficult than i feel like the toy story ones are which is perfect for her age now because she is five and it's like even like rock formations like the little earth giants and stuff like that so i think she's really gonna like this one and of course it's i spy on frozen crack pretty much so both of those i think were under eight dollars on amazon all right so we live in texas and it is pretty much not springtime in here i don't know what i'm saying it's about to snow this week we'll see if that actually happens but Spring does come pretty early for us here. And so normally during Valentine's Day, I like to get them a couple of like springier related clothing items to help kind of transition them into their like summer clothing items because it's like spring and then boom, summer's here. So I get to them just a couple of things to help them transition and these they can easily wear these in the spring and summer as well. So both of these dresses came from Amazon um, and I believe this first dress is from a Spotted Zebra brand. I wanna say that's like an Amazon owned brand, um, but this was on sale for like five six dollars i hopefully it's still on sale um but it's super super cute it's really really nicely and well made it's all embroidered and it is adorable this one um is a 3t so it's for my youngest and has little buttons right up here and little shooting stars with little rainbows almost coming out of them adorable super cute this is perfect for right now because they can easily wear um like leggings underneath it i mean she has pretty much every color of these like little shooting stars so i can put like a bright pair of leggings underneath it with a little sweater for the springtime and then when it warms up she can easily just take it off and then wear it throughout summertime really cute and then my oldest has one that's pretty similar this is five to six years and honestly this looks a little small to me but it could just be me so we'll have to see um but it's a really really cute like flipped sequined unicorn dress so um right now obviously they're all gold but if you flip them they all turn to silver and it's just really cute i love the little like 
they almost make me think of ice cream scoops but her mane and it's rainbow once again they have like mat i mean whatever leggings they can pop underneath it and then she can wear a cardigan over it and then in summertime and stuff she can take them off but this one is a bit more expensive i think but not by much and it's really really cute and so if you have a little one that really likes the flip sequins one this is for you i think it's adorable and then i was at walmart <laughs> and they found they, they started taking out some of their like summery and spring clothing and i just couldn't resist so this is the first one um this is from my youngest this is from the wonder nation line and it's super cute it's a bright like sherbet peachy orange color and it has a bunch of little rainbows on it anything rainbow i'm attracted to anything rainbow my girls are attracted to and it just has like a little ruffle once again this is something they could easily wear with leggings and when it gets warmer they can take those leggings off and just wear it as a normal dress um this was only four dollars and 96 cents so super inexpensive and really really cute um normally this type of stuff sells out pretty early on so i definitely would check your local walmart to try to get your hand on it hands on it but it's so adorable and i just love it and then for Olive, I stuck with the rainbow theme. This is also really cute. This is from the big girl section because I have to cross the barrier. I just read a whole article that I think was like on Facebook, but it was a mom who had started shopping for her son in like the big boy section and how like hard it was. And it's, it's hard. Like Ollie can still wear some 5T stuff, but for the most part, like we've really kind of transitioned over to like the big girl section and it's like so weird <laughs> and sad. Anyway, um, so, in that section, though, I found this, which is a Geranimals 365 um, kids line, and it's super cute. This was $6.97, and it's just this really adorable little shirt with rainbows and, like, off the shoulder, but the shoulder has, like, this little adorable rainbow tie. It is super cute. I love this. This is something she can wear with pants right now, and then shorts or, like, a skirt when it gets a little bit warmer. There's like a little front frocket right here, adorable. And then I got these little shorts to match with it. Um, these are just like little biker shorts. These were $4.97 from that same line. And then of course they match with the little ribbon. So she has a cute little springy and summer outfit to wear. And these are kind of fun and exciting because both my kids love clothes, but on top of that, it like gets you excited for the warmer weather. So now we're just gonna go into their like each unique little sections. Um, we first have like, I talked to you guys about that plate. My husband broke my youngest like Toy Story plate. I don't know if he was just like throwing them in the cupboard. I've never seen a plastic plate just like break in half but it happened so um i ended up getting this one this is like a really cheesy cheapy one i'm kind of sad because the other one was so cute but this was from walmart made in the usa dishwasher safe and i mean it's toy story so she'll be fine it's cute but i was sad about the other one but i ended, i ended up getting a plate just to kind of fill that need um they i also got these wonder nation jewelry or little necklaces little chokers i love to get them jewelry for valentine's day my husband normally buys my daughter like a little jewelry piece um my oldest and now he's gonna drive and do that to my youngest but buys like a cute little jewelry piece to give to them um as like their little first valentine's um so these may be the ones he may go out and buy his like special ones i don't know we'll see but these were only 488 from walmart these are the wonder nation brand and more than likely we'll just cut them in half and then two goes to olive and two goes to eleanor um but they're really cute they have little hearts and then like the little stretchy chokers with like a little unicorn right here and a little set of pearls they have a bunch of different types of these um and they're really inexpensive and they're really cute but this is a good idea if you have a bunch of little girls you can just like cut each one or if you you know divvy it up don't divvy it up you do you but they're adorable for only four dollars Okay, so moving on to more of their own like unique gifts, I guess. Um, we have these for El Olive. So I originally was gonna give each girl a pair of stickers, but a uh, pack of stickers, but I know that Eleanor really just puts them everywhere where Olive like uses them to create. Eleanor's still kind of like youngish, I guess, for stickers. She doesn't really care that much about them, where Olive is like, I want them for my art. So I think I'm gonna give both of these to Ollie. Um, but I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. Target Dollar Spot is great for little Valentine, super inexpensive, obviously. And these were only a dollar and there's two sheets and they're scented little donut stickers. Um, and then this is also a dollar. I love these when I was doing my own home daycare. I would buy these every single season um, and decorate the papers with them because they're adorable. And they're only a dollar and they come with a bunch of different ones. There are Valentines and llamas on this one. Then we have strawberries that go like match the cute little uh, placemats they have then they have a bunch of little hearts 
I mean, they're super cute. I love the little sticker section. So if you're a teacher and you use stickers, I'm telling you, Target Dollar Spot is where to get them. Or if you like to plan and use planner stickers, I think they're still really fun. So both of these are for her. And then in that same section, I got her a new spiral journal. These are the chunky notebooks. She, I love these from their dollar section. Normally they're $5, but I feel like they brought them down a little bit less because this was only three, but I feel like before they used to be five. But they're really nice. They're nice and thick and durable. Um, and she loves to get little new journals. If you haven't watched my videos before, my oldest loves to draw and color and right like that's one of her all-time favorite things and so i know she's going to love this it's a bunch of little sketch pad papers so this is like her new set she just got a bunch of new colors and markers and crayons for christmas time so she has a bunch of that stuff so she doesn't need that but she does need some new like paper and like fun things with that so that's her little set and to go along with that, I also got her another book. She's definitely my book girl more than my youngest, but my youngest is still only three. She loves to read, but Olive is definitely like zoned into the story now, and she's starting to learn her sight words um, and pick up reading too soon, which is crazy to me. But anyway, um, I got her this Disney Frozen 2 The Magical Guide. I saw this at Kohl's, and I was originally going to buy it there, but it was like $16.99, which was crazy because I got this for like six bucks. <laughs> At Am on Amazon and I think she's going to love this this is definitely for a little one who like really loves Frozen and like wants to like dive deeper into the story every time Olive makes a wish like for her fifth birthday and like if she finds an eyelash on her face and we like make a wish and she blows she doesn't think I can hear her hear her and it kind of breaks my heart but she wishes be she wants to be like Elsa and go to Arendelle and have her own Frozen adventure like a hundred percent that's what she wants she wants to become Elsa or like become just be herself but gets to go to Arendelle and live a frozen adventure and it kills me because she'll ask like the other day she asked in the car like do wishes really come true and I it's like it's so hard for me because I know that this is something that's like not really it can't happen really but it kills me because she like wants it so badly and I'm like the closest we can get is like to go to Disney World but anyway, I think this will still be really fun for her and kind of gets her to dive deeper into the story. The reason that I like this one is because a lot of times when you have like film guides and stuff, they go into the film and the making of the film. But this one just dives in and makes it feel like it's still real. So they just go um, back like to go to each character and like Elsa and they talk about all of like her powers and what they mean. And they go into Anna and then they have like little quizzes in here and they talk about each of the spirits and like it just like goes deeper and deeper in and I think she's really gonna like it um, and love to read it and it's something that she can also just enjoy looking at all the pictures with. Like anything Frozen, she's there and I think she's really gonna like this. So for they're, I hate to say big gift, but like this was under $20. Um, Ollie, or if you don't, or Eleanor, if you don't know, she is obsessed with figures. That is like her thing. It's still her thing. Still very much her thing, friends. We moved to Barbies, but we still love our figures. And she has been dying for this little set. Um, so much stuff I filmed in my Valentine's Day, but it's still true. Walmart still has a ton of stuff on clearance and I was able to get this on clearance um, and I think it's back to full price which is like 20 something maybe 14 I don't know around there but I think I got it for like 12 or 10 or something um, and just check your local Walmarts and see what you can still get but it's just a bunch of the Disney Frozen figures and of course I mean like it's just this is up her alley she's gonna be so excited but I also kind of feel like my oldest is gonna have a hard time not <laughs> not having these two but anyway i really like the packaging they put like a bunch of, it's gonna be messy as heck but they put like a bunch of like little snowflakes in here and it's like a little snow globe anyway so these are for eleanor and then also for eleanor since ollie got um the extra book and all of like the drawing stuff um this is what i got for eleanor it's a bit bigger than ollie's set but price wise it kind of came out to the same um a little bit more expensive but uh i got her a set of these anna boots as you can tell these were five dollars in the clearance section too at walmart she ollie got these for christmas time and eleanor has wanted a pair so badly and so i found these for five dollars and these were originally like what are they 16.88 so definitely worth it i will if you guys know any tricks to make them not as slippy i know um people have put like hot glue on the bottom of them help me because I swear we're gonna end up in the hospital because of them but I know that Eleanor's gonna freak out and be so excited and to go along with that I got this for nine dollars on Amazon right now um, and it is the Anna costume 
Ollie has all of the Elsa costumes and Eleanor has been dying to have an Anna costume and I think the cape actually comes off of this. The ones in store are like $26 and I just didn't want to spend that money. I thought about getting it for her birthday but but then I saw this for $9 and I knew that we had to get it. So it's really, really cute. I mean, it's not like the fanciest one, but you know what? She's not going to care. She's going to love it. And I love that the cloak is like removable and really cute. And I know she's going to be so excited to have her little on a dress. And the last but not least thing to kind of go along with that. If you watch my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, then you would have seen that Ollie got the Elsa like traveling dress like the main dress that she's in in Frozen 2 this one and then I also got her the show yourself gown um from Disney and those were her by far her favorite gifts like she wears them once a day every day when she comes home from school or whatnot we have the Elsa costumes on she's obsessed with them and she's wanted the into the unknown dress and which is technically like Elsa's nightgown super hard to find let me tell you <laughs> like Disney doesn't make it like it's not an easy dress to find but I've been hunting pretty much since we saw the movie because I knew she'd want it and I finally found one on Amazon so for some reason my footage of me showing the actual dress got cut out I don't know what happened but I'm in my closet right now <laughs> because my kids are home and I don't want them to I especially all I don't want them to see this so this is what the dress looks like um but like I said, I got it on Amazon and it was like 20 something dollars or so, um, or 19, it was less than 20. Um, but I mean, it's pretty thin. It's definitely like a costume style material and fabric, but it, it looks very similar to the actual one. Um, um I'm in my PJs, <laughs> the actual one, um, in the movie, it even has like the little lace collar up here and the little stone. And then it has like all the pretty sparkles and like the tool overlay, um, with like the like kind of like snowflakey looking things on the bottom. Um, it looks perfect. It's going to look so cute on her and she's going to freaking freak out. Like I, this is like what gives me so much joy <laughs> is giving her and both of them just stuff that they like. It just brings their imaginations to life and that they just love and treasure because I remember getting so many like dress up items and costumes when I was a little girl and it being my absolute favorite thing and just wearing them until they fell apart. And so I'm so excited to do that with my own little kids. Um, this is the size 130. Oh, here's like a little thing right here. Um, 130. Um, this was like from like China, um, but this is like the five to six size. I think it'll fit just fine. I think it'll probably be a little big actually, um, but just for reference, I did get the 130 and she's a pretty true 5T um, and it's nice and like long and beautiful and really cute. I'm sorry, this is like the worst way to show this, but I lost the footage somehow and I don't want them to find out yet. So this is the dress and I will make sure that it'll be linked below in the description box. Lastly, I normally get a lot of questions on how I normally like organize and how I gift my gifts. Um, and for Valentine's Day, I have these cute little heart baskets that they still have at Walmart. They're plastic. They're pretty small and I normally put stuff in that, but this year I don't have anything that'll fit in that. So instead, I have these bags, which I got from Dollar Tree, and we just keep reusing them. They're super cute, just little heart bags. Um, Dollar Tree always has really cute, like, rainbow and heart bags. So if you have, you know, if you need some extra ones, <laughs> go there. I normally will, I'll probably put their costumes in that one. And then some of the stuff will be out on the table, but, like, some of their books and stuff like that will go in these. These are, like, little felt envelopes. I believe Target still makes these every year. They may not have the character ones on them, but they normally have at least, like, a felt envelope. And I'll put like their books or if they get like a DVD or something that year or like their plates or something like that, they'll go in here. So they have fun things to open still and that's not just all put out. But some of the stuff will be out on the table. And normally what I do is I, um, if Ollie has school that day, the past number of years she's been at school. So we'll just wait till she comes home and then they get to open their Valentine's surprises. But if she doesn't have school, which probably won't happen anymore because next year she'll probably be at school um full time then we'll just wait until I get home and that's kind of how we do it that's what how we did it when I grew up so um yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's kind of big and all over the place but I hope you still enjoyed it and let me know below what you plan on getting your little one or if you do valentines for your kids or if you don't do valentines for your kids I didn't include any candy this year because they still have tons of candy left over from Christmas time and I just I feel like we needed to just add on to that so they didn't get any candy this year but I'm sure they'll still love the stuff they got even more than that um and also, if you watch my videos regularly, um, I will be doing a get ready with me 
and alongside that I will be doing a q and A. I've been getting a lot of requests to do kind of like an updated get ready with me like my makeup routine and foundation and stuff like that so I'm going to do that but then I've also gotten a couple questions to do a q and A. So if you have any questions you want to ask me or anything you want to know then leave them a comment on the bottom of this video and I will also probably do like an extra community question tab later on um, and so yeah so if you have any questions that you've been wanting to know then leave them down here below and I will get around to answering those in my Q&A and um, I have a bunch of plus size fashion coming your way so if you're also interested in that then make sure you keep an eye out because and turn on that post notification bell because I got a lot of videos to film for that and I hope you enjoy this video guys I hope you have a wonderful and amazing Valentine's Day even if you don't have a Valentine or you've had a Valentine for many many years um, I feel like this day is a day about love it doesn't have to be romantic it can be platonic but just to show others you love and care for them and be grateful um, for all the love that you have in your life I love Valentine's Day I've loved it for my whole entire life and I'm so excited just to get all gussied up and just have a fun day with my kids and my husband and I hope you have a wonderful and happy Valentine's Day as well I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys